So today we're back with part two of the drop challenge and folks we have the weirdest craziest cards that we're gonna launch off giant jumps and stay tuned until the end because we might have to pull out the god tier card. Also this video has a sponsor. This video is sponsored by Mech Arena. So sometimes when I'm feeling a little overwhelmed I like to just pull my car over put it in the park and play me one of my favorite mobile games ever called Mech Arena. And folks let me talk to you about my favorite thing I like to do in the game and that is being an awesome sniper and taking out an unsuspecting opponent from the other side of the map. So yeah, if you don't know what Mech Arena is, it's a super fun, a free-to-play online shooter. And if you don't even want to play it on the mobile, you can play it on desktop too. Trust me, I've tried it. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, we were talking about one of my favorite play styles, and that is sniping. Uh, there's nothing more satisfying than setting across the map and taking out an opponent. Plus, it's a good way to uh, progress quick, and it's really satisfying. And guess what? You don't need much to get started as a sniper. Any mech that has a high energy capacity will do, including Paragon. Paragon, the first mech that you get in the game. So pair that with a long arm, which is the game's first sniper rifle, and you're good to go. So there's nothing more you need to do. Just get into the game and give it a go. So as far as some of the tactics that I like to use, of course you want to keep your distance. You're going to be safer. You're going to do more damage. Try to find high ground or try to be sneaky about it. Be right behind that cover, and when you think you're ready to take that shot, jump out and do it. Now you do need to be careful. You're going to have to watch your back because as you're back there waiting for your opponents to get into your view line, you might be getting flanked from the side, so be sure to watch your back there. So yeah, once you get the basics of sniping, aim for those upgrades that are going to make you an unstoppable force. Pick up stuff like the Puma mech, which has a useful shield, and you can try to upgrade it to 16 energy capacity so that you can equip two long arms and try to get a pilot that specializes in sniper weapons. So yeah, it's definitely my favorite tactic to use in the game. So I strongly suggest you guys do it. And guess what? It's completely free. It's on Android, iOS, PC right now. And if you use the link down in the description or scan the QR code right here, you're going to get a free starter pack worth $30, a skin, a prodigy crate, and 5,000 credits to help kickstart your game. And if you're quick, you can add me as a friend and we can play some matches together. So folks, it's all in an honest day's work. We're going to be dropping this squad truck off the drop map so I've got a ton of cool things to test out here today uh, this thing's not so cool by the way no hate to the mod maker on this it's actually new on the repository but it's a squatted truck now the only saving grace well if this was made like a normal squatted truck it would probably fall apart before we even got to the drop but I'm thinking here in BMG Drive you got a lot of like I would say give there in the front so this in theory should make it down the drops just fine right all right let's go with the first Oh my goodness, that absorbed that really well. Uh, oh, please tell me this isn't the thing that's finally going to make it off the big boy back there. All right, let's go five meters. Oh my goodness, here we go. And, oh, <laughs> why is this? Oh, don't tell me this is indestructible or something, right? Hold on, let's confirm there isn't something going on. Also, I like the license plate, Mr. McCool. Okay, and, oh, can't confirm this turd bucket is destructible. It just, uh, yeah. <laughs> You just have to drop it higher, I guess. Not gonna lie, I was hoping this thing was gonna explode on the first one. Uh, this thing's a lot more durable than I thought it would be. Oh my goodness, it survived 10. All right, let's go to 20. Did we find the ultimate cheat vehicle to do this? Uh, I hope this really isn't it. Like, I'm voting, like, I really want this to fail. Like, I really hope it does. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness, it still drives. Oh, the real rear drive shaft's broke. <gasps> Oh, it broke. Okay, we'll give it one more chance here. Always give it two shots on the drop if it breaks. All right, here we go. 20 and... All right, it's broken. Yes! Uh, we can get this uh, piece of work out of here. By the way, here is the mod creator of this one. So the squatted truck made it to 10 meters. Honestly, I'm surprised. So I do have some other vehicles here that I think might be capable of making it. Okay, so check out this piece of work. I feel like with the added suspension here, like this could probably handle dropping, right? Oh my goodness, it doesn't go fast. Look at this. Oh, that absorbs really good. By the way, if you're gonna ask me where I get some of these other mods, uh, the squatted truck was on the repository. These others are probably from Beam and P servers. I just load them all in. And yeah, they're probably a lot of really low quality ones. <laughs> We're gonna try to use stuff that I know might be a little bit more from the repository. Oh, that was uh, that wasn't as bad. Oh, I feel like this one actually might break. Uh, let's try it on 10. So yeah, you might see some questionable models in here. Uh, just I won't be able to answer where I got them. Uh, so here we go. Okay, 
Still drives. Nice. All right, so this one made it to 10. Can this one make it past the squatted truck? Please tell me it can. By the way, I think this one came from a, a configuration pack that had like just a ton of them on there. Uh, I don't necessarily think this was a cheap one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Han, we'll flip it back over. Does it still run? I don't think it broke the drive shaft. A lot of people were telling me last time uh, that I should totally use... Oh, come on, just flip over. There we go. Uh, a lot of people were telling me I should uh, use maybe uh, rear engine vehicles. Uh, that is actually smart. I do have a couple. I don't know if they're really good mods as far as the quality. We might try one of the poopy quality ones. Uh, but, hey, that was pretty good there. That... That managed to make it. Wow, I'm surprised. So it's official. We've beaten the squatted truck. We're on uh, 30 meters uh, for the drop here. Very nice. Okay, just keep it wide open. I need to keep it rotated because it... Oh, this one nosedives so bad. <gasps> Uh-oh, that might have been the thing that does it in. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so... Oh, I was really hoping that was going to work. Now, I could modify this one. I don't wonder if I have bigger tires. Real quick, this is where it's made it. Uh, I wonder if maybe I can install something maybe a little bit more cushiony. Also, would a jello car make it down? I, I think that could be a thing too. So I'm gonna put the toy wheels on here. I believe these are from the uh, toy car, the Lego one. Uh, yeah, dude, these aren't gonna give. So in theory, these will be good, right? Oh, wait, why can't I change the rear one? Ah, I found it. There we go. Okay, you can't tell me this won't survive this. So we're going to start at the 30 again just to try. We got bigger wheels. Like, that should work, right? They're plastic. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. No, okay, it still breaks. All right, well, that didn't make it as far as I was hoping it would, but you know what? It's fine. All right, so that one finished the 20, so we'll go by what it makes it to. It made it to the 30. Uh, let's try a new vehicle. Okay, so we're gonna test a theory. I believe this came from a beam and peace server. I don't really know the true quality. Like the model itself looks really nice, but it's a rear engine vehicle. And a lot of people are saying rear engine vehicles are gonna have the advantage. That's why some of the Dune vehicles uh, that we used last time were good. So it made it past the two. Uh, let's go ahead and go up. We uh, tried to think it was a uh, McLaren, which was actually on the beam and G forums. Uh, it was a really pretty cool mod. It made it really far. So I'm thinking this thing is going to make it pretty far too. All right, so we're good with five. Let's go 11. Uh, I got to think of other strategies. I want to find some weird vehicles. I mean, we've already tested out some pretty weird stuff. Uh, let's go 10 here. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's not bad. Uh, I also figured out a strategy. You want to try to keep it wide open, uh, leaving the ramp. A lot of these vehicles like the nosedive, and sometimes if you hold it wide open, it actually keeps them fairly level. This thing's actually really stable. Uh, it's still going. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've made it to where the squatted truck. I mean, that's not saying a whole lot. Hmm, where do I think this one's going to make it? I think this one makes 75. Uh, I have some faith in it. I, like I said, I don't know as far as like the collision box on it, how it is. But I just think the whole fact that the engine's in the rear, this is going to hold up. Boom! Uh, impact detected. Hold on, it's going to stop the car, but it refires and it drives right off. This is just like the McLaren. This is working out. Okay. Okay, here we go. 50 and wide open. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh, okay. That might have been bad. Huh? On land. <laughs> Guess what? She still uh still drives. I don't think it's very good, but I mean it's it's still pushing itself forward. Okay, here we go. We're at the 75. Oh, buddy. Okay, we want to launch hard this time. Come on, stay level. Oh, we might hit the outside wall. That's not good. Uh, oh! Um. Uh, oh, yeah. The fuel tank's in, in the front, isn't it? Hold on. Does that count? I mean, it still drives. Okay, I'm gonna launch it a little less hard. Like, I feel like hitting that outside wall, it might absorb it a, a little bit different way. So let's let it hit the nose. Oh, that was terrible, but... Oh my goodness, it drives off. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. All right, we're going to 100. You know what we're going to do? Because I know there's going to be people saying, well, you don't know where this mod came from. So, like, who's to say the, the box itself or something might be kind of fishy or, or weird with it? Of course, I don't know. I mean, it could be actually fine here. Uh-oh. Uh, no, it still moves. What the heck? Uh, I'm going to launch that one more time from here. Uh, I'm going to get one of the base cars in the game that has a rear engine, and we're going to try it, too. Uh, so I want to try to keep the test. I mean, it's never going to be like fully fair, but I want to try to keep it somewhat fair. 
This thing still drives, technically. It's rear wheel. Oh, I think it actually just broke there. Um, you know what? This is where we're going to stop with this. So we're going to say 100. It, it made, uh, you know, we'll put it at the next board because I would have probably tested it on the next one. But I think for the fairness of the test, we're going to go grab a rear engine car from the base game. So we did try the Shintilla last time, but let's try the always awesome Bolide here. Uh, I want to go with the like a highly aerodynamic one. Uh, oh, I have the jet turbine. Wait, where did this come from? Hold on, does this load? Yo, what the? Um, I don't know where this configuration came from. I'm gonna dig into this because I would like to know myself. It's got the same jet as I believe the ramp. Maybe it did come from the ramp car. There was a mod that was released not too long ago. I meant to cover it fully in a video. Uh, I know a lot of people did. I think Simulator Adventures and Neological both covered it. Uh, why does that seem like this would be the perfect vehicle? Well, to be fair, it's, it's, it's a turbine. I, I don't know, like, yeah, there's not an engine in here. It's just turbine powered. I guess if you keep it safe, it'll be fine. Hold on, here we go. Roll it off. Dude, that was a smooth land. Ow, except for that. Uh-oh. Did we just find the weak link there? When it hit, if that's the nose hitting, that... Oh, that piece fell right off. Um, well, technically, it could still go because of the jet. I feel like this vehicle's cheating. Okay, let's keep moving. I think it's gonna make several of the next, uh, but when it starts to struggle, I'll queue back in. Okay, we have made it up to 30. It's had zero problems uh, so far. It's broken the front a couple times, so I'm almost thinking this vehicle isn't quite fair. Uh, also, if you hold it too long, it does that. Um, uh-oh. I think maybe now it's the height. Uh, come on. Okay, just let off. So it does this tip thing, and if you can get it to rotate like that, it lands, and technically it still drives. What is it holding on by? It still drives. I, I do think we're gonna have to try one of the normal bow lights too. Okay, here we go. Okay, a little bit of boost, and then just, all right, let it go. Come on, rotate. Oh! You know what you can kind of do with this one? Is when it rotates and it's aimed straight up, you can activate the, uh, the thruster and try to soften the landing. This vehicle's cheating. This is, yeah, okay, you know what? We're gonna throw this one away. I like it, I like it a whole lot. I do actually wanna play with this more. I gotta figure out exactly where it came from. Uh, Cause if I use it in like a solo video where it's just me playing with one mod, I like to try to uh, show you guys where it's at. And I wanna figure that one out. Okay, chiming in, we are on the Bolide. I've made it all the way up to 30. This is the track toy. So this has got a rear engine. The only thing I see with this car and something like the Shintilla, these cars do like to break in half. Uh, okay, so we're good there. I could totally flip this back over. It's gonna run. It's bad that it could survive stuff like this, but it's that rear engine. Like, it is so protected. Yeah, the only thing I'm worried about this one is once we get up to, I want to say maybe the 100, it might snap in half. Uh, that's maybe where it would stop, but I'm hoping that it keeps going here. This thing's been a really strong one. Uh, you guys were definitely onto something with the rear engine cars. And, oh, that's such a hard hit. But, guess what? She still drives off. <laughs> nice. Okay, folks, we've made it up to the 100 mark. Okay. We're going for it. I gotta focus now. Uh, you gotta be careful about how you exit the drop. Okay. Guess it, guess it, guess it. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, it's a nosedive. That is bad. Will it still drive? I mean, <laughs> we need to define the word drive. I guess drive is pushing forward with the engine because this thing definitely is not steering anymore. Hold on. Yo, she still runs. All right, so we have a new, uh, well, I mean, technically the 911. But yeah, that one's questionable. So we have a new leader here. We're going up to the 150 mark. Do we have something that we can drop from the top? Uh, that would be awesome. All right, here we go. And wait for it. And okay, uh-oh, we might overshoot. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Uh, this is gonna suck. Yep. Did it break it? Hold on. So does a grass landing count? It still technically drives. Let's launch it one more time. I'm going to try to make it hit the pavement. Uh, we need a consistent, I guess, material here. Oh, come on. Do the whole flip. Do the whole flip. And... Oh, it's... Whoa, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Have you ever seen one of these cars break and the only thing that's holding it together is the hinges on the cover for the engine? You know what's funny? the rear wheels i mean they still spin because you don't have to worry about that shaft going up through to the front of the car uh 
I gotta try it one more time. I feel like, okay, last time we're trying this, if it breaks in half like that, I mean, you can't keep that, right? I'm gonna hold it wide open this time. It stalls out, arrow-wise. Come on, flip. Oh, I can't get it to flip over. If it lands, and I can drive off. Come on. Uh-oh, hold on. Ah. Oh, it broke. It actually legit broke that time. Hmm, not gonna lie. Slightly disappointed right now. So, I've got another idea. You know, I'm gonna throw this in. I guess we gotta throw it here with the 911. I like how I'm just, like, putting these on spikes afterward. Uh, I got an idea. So, probably one of my all-time favorite mods, and I, this was suggested from the last video, is the Vertex. So, this is such a high-quality and awesome mod. Uh, the Gravel Vertex. Uh, so... There's a lot of things here that we could potentially try with this one. I know there's a flying one, but I feel like flying might be cheating. Uh, there's some climbers. Also, I feel like if the, it's an indestructible one, it probably shouldn't count either. But man, the Vertex Airlines. Actually, I think they've added more configurations since the last time we've checked this out. Wait, this one's called the heaviest car. And I'm pretty sure it's in... Is that French? Um, can we try this real quick? I, I feel like I'm going to try a couple of these. Also, I thought in my head, what about a small car? What about maybe a toy car? I feel like a toy car, not the brick car, but I feel like a toy car might be able to do this too. Okay, so this is called the heaviest car. Is that a good thing or a bad thing for this challenge? Also, Ram Plows, what are your guys' opinion on that? I feel like... If it spikes into the ground right, it might actually hold up pretty good. All right, here we go. Um, okay. This seems relatively stable. Uh, it has, like, zero brakes on it. All right, let's keep going. Okay, this thing has made it to the 20-meter mark. Uh, I will admit, it lands a little funny. Uh, watch this. It goes, boom! It always lands on that front, but it still runs. Uh, you can hear, I know it says, oh, the engine's broken now. Wait. Is that really what did it in? The little tap at the very end? Uh-oh. I feel like this one might not make it further. Uh, all right. Let's try the 30 with this one. Uh, I know the Vertex has some other ones. Of course, the one with the wings. I mean, we know that one would be safe if I can land it. Uh, probably cheating. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, that worked a little better. Uh-oh. Hold on. Brakes, 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 brakes. Uh... You know, I think we're gonna have to get rid of this one. I don't think Strictly Jado's counts as a running car, right? Okay, we're gonna chunk this one over here. There's other cars in the Vertex pack that I do wanna try, though. Okay, so I did see there was one called God Mode. I, I don't feel like something called God Mode is a uh, is a fair one. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, it's kind of hard to choose out of this pack. There's so much good... There's so many good things that I would love to try. I don't see anything about a rear engine, so uh, we're gonna go with something that has huge tires on it. What about the highest car? Is this a mistake? This might be a mistake. I mean, the big tires might hold up. Uh, wait, is the drive shaft already broken? The car just spawned and it broke itself. Okay, maybe not this one. Let's try another one. Okay, so hear me out. This one's called the Pro Drift. It's got wings on the back and the front. I don't know if that actually helps with anything, but maybe it'll float down? Huh? Is anybody else following along with this? Uh, I feel like this is not going to end well, but we're going to try it. Uh, also, oh man, it's got some really good acceleration. Okay, so it made that Han. Got those sideways real quick. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I'm not really a drifter. Uh, so it's got a night. Wait, it's got a computer in there. What do you think they're looking at? Oh, it's just uh, it's a Komodo gaming video. All right, so we've made it to 30. Let's go ahead and test this out. Uh, we get some air now, so we can see if the wings are helping. I don't know if these are helping or hurting. Uh oh. That was a rear drive shaft. Okay, so this made it that far. Man, I really, really want to use the one with wings. But there's no point because I'm just going to fly off and away from the map. Uh, I love the Vertex mod, but I don't really know. Besides the, maybe the God mode, I don't know any that can actually survive really, really, really tall drops. But I got another idea. So hear me out. Does this fall into the God like territory like can this thing actually break this is the i think it's called the super six uh it's the toy car we've played with this we actually tried to do it for suiting it it was miserable uh, it's not very fast but it's one of those little plastic power wheels cars wait it still runs can you break this oh my goodness this might have been the answer the whole time it's a freaking toy car okay folks we've made it up to the 20 this thing it bounces like I swear, it, it doesn't even get damaged. Like, it, yeah, the little plastic roll hoops kind of fold a little bit, but watch. Uh, I shouldn't have spawned way back here. No, this is fine. All right, here we go. Boom. 
Uh-oh, it finally broke. No! Are you kidding me? You were the chosen one. I thought this one was gonna work. Okay, so, wow, that completely uh completely spoiled the party there didn't it dang it okay so this is another uh, really good quality mod off the beam and g forums it is the bugatti we've used it many times and i'm kind of thinking once again with the rear engine like i can't oh it already damaged the oil pan i mean you don't need an oil pan to drive forward at least five more feet after you fall off a cliff uh this might work it i do we think it's going to end up in the same pile as the 911 and the bolide i kind of feel like it too uh Honestly, I think we're going to skip here. Let's do a little skip here. So let's go up to the 100 mark and see if it has the same result. Okay, here we go. 100. Oh, come on. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Oh, this is going to land right on its roof. Oh. Ouch. Hold on. Hold on. Before the engine runs out of oil. Come on. Flip over. Oh, jeez. That's the skid. Uh, or part of the skid plate. Or, oh, that's the skid plate. Uh. Okay, nope, come on, car, flip over for me. Oh, I'm just stripping the car right now. It is officially the pancake, but does the pancake run? Yeah, buddy. I mean, something's broken in the front, but it definitely, it would roll. Um, I don't think it would survive another one. So, technically, it's in the same pile now. 150. Man, I'm running out of options here, folks. Uh, all right, here we go. 150. And... Come on, why do you go to your roof? I can't get this. Oh, it might rotate a little. Oh, it's going to land on the engine. Well, that for sure doesn't. Yeah, that's not going to work. All right, same pile. Well, do we notice a common denominator here? Like the rear engine cars are sweet. They work so good, but they all end up in the same pile. We might have to think outside the box here. Okay, folks, I'm getting desperate. Hear me out. This is called the beam car. Uh, the reason I'm going to use this, there's a mattress on here. And we've proven that the mattress... Uh-oh. Why is she not firing up? Is it not fire up because it's a meme? If I can fix the engine in this, the mattress, when you release from the high up areas, it should hopefully slow the car down a little bit, maybe? Okay, so with a couple magical engine swap pieces, uh, we have a running version of this. Huh? Does that... Oh, why does this... Wait, the tires are just popping? Um, I think this might work, folks. Uh, so I think the throttle might be hung on this because it drives by itself. <laughs> I think it's a part of like a mixture of like Agent Y parts. Uh, we're going to go up to where we drop the other rear engine cars. 150. Can we please have something survive this? I mean, worst case scenario, it lands on the mattress and it cushions the fall. This is, uh, this is science here, folks. Okay, gas it, gas it, gas it. Come on. Okay, the mattress. Will Hold on. Oh, I am so disappointed right now. Why did I think this was going to work? Hold on, try it again. Oh, hold it wide open this time. Wide open. Come on, mattress. No, 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 no. Go the other way. Go the other way. Oh, it just lands so hard. Hold on. Hold on. Nope, it's done. Well, folks, I think we've proved that you can't do... I mean, we had a big dune buggy last time that survived. It was kind of janky. I think we're going to have to use the god car yes here it is uh, this is the god mode car it's the vertex uh komodo has resorted to cheating if you guys have any suggestions for cars that you think might survive uh, keep them coming uh, i took a lot of this comments from the last episode there's no way i mean it's a god car it's the god level this should work right here we go oh my goodness it's so high up uh i'm assuming this is just gonna bounce and we'll drive off right does it land on all four? Wait. Hold on. Hold on. C can we drive? I know one of the uh, half shafts is broken. Wait. Not even a god can survive this challenge? You've got to be kidding me. All right, here comes the second attempt. I thought this was going to make it. Like, I feel like we'll have to find some other... I'm sure Agent Y might have some indestructible cars uh, that we could use. But... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we're throwing it up from a really far ways. Come on. Come on, land, 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 land. Oh, it bounced. Uh, I'm pretty sure every half shaft just broke. Hold on. Uh, the engine still runs. But. Uh, hold on. Do they spin? Uh, nope. Yep, I'm holding it. What? That is. Not gonna lie, I'm disappointed. 